cyberbullying. Nearly 43% of kids have been bullied online. Only 1 in 10 people tell an adult they trust, and girls are twice as likely to be cyberbullied than boys. It is believed by 81% of young people that online bullying is easier to get away with. 90% of teenagers ignore cyberbullying when they see it. Victims of bullying are two to nine times more likely to consider suicide. Almost 75% of students have admitted to visiting a website and bashing another student, and that's only the ones who have admitted it. Hannah Smith was a 14-year-old girl from Letterworth, Leicestershire, England. She was being taunted about a recent family death and insulted about her weight on a question-and-answer social network called Ask.fm. The site allows anonymous participants. She went on to ask for advice on the skin condition eczema, according to her father. Instead, she got bullies that were telling her to cut herself and drink bleach. On August 3, 2013, Hannah's sister found that Hannah had hung herself in her bedroom. Her father found a note that read, As I sit here day by day, I wonder if it's going to get better. I want to die. I want to be free. I can't live like this anymore. I'm not happy. Shortly after Hannah's suicide, her sister, Jo, started receiving abusive messages on Facebook, mocking her loss and blaming her father's parenting for the death. Kenneth Weishan was a gay high school freshman from Paulina, Iowa. The bullying started from an anti-gay Facebook group made by Kenneth's classmates. Janie Chambers, Kenneth's mother, said she had known about the harassment that her son had told her. Mom, you don't know how it feels to be hated. According to Kayla, Kenneth's sister, after he came out, the abuse started with people that he trusted. People that were originally his friends. They kind of turned on him, she said. A lot of people either joined in or were too scared to say anything. Kenneth killed himself after being bullied both at school and online and receiving death threats by phone in 2012. I couldn't find any specific dates, but Kenneth was only 15 years old. Conrad Roy III killed himself from carbon monoxide poisoning in a Kmart parking lot on July 13, 2014. His girlfriend, Michelle Carter, posted messages of her grieving on social medias and raised money for mental health awareness in his name. But in only a few months, Michelle was indicted, police having found numerous texts of her telling Roy to kill himself. Michelle was 17 at the time, but she went on trial in June of 2017 in a courtroom in Taunton, Massachusetts, on involuntary manslaughter charges. According to a document disseminated by the Bristol County District Attorney's Office on July 12th, she sent him a text that said, You need to do it, Conrad. You're ready and prepared. All you have to do is turn the generator on and you will be free and happy, she had sent. No more pushing it off. No more waiting. Carter drove 40 miles from home to the Kmart. At one point, he got out of his truck and talked to Michelle for about 40 minutes, saying he was having second thoughts about suicide. She told him to get back in the car. Police continued to investigate and found hundreds of messages between Carter and Roy. In one text, Carter counseled Roy on how to kill himself using carbon monoxide. If you emit 3,200 parts per million of carbon dioxide for 5 or 10 minutes, you'll die within a half hour, she sent him. You lose consciousness with no pain. You'll fall asleep and die. And he did. Signs to tell if someone is being cyberbullied are unexpectedly stops using devices or gets nervous when using them, appears to be uncomfortable leaving the house, seems upset or depressed after being online, becomes withdrawn from people they're usually close to, has a change in eating habits, makes statements about suicide or life being meaningless, loses interest in previously favored activities, and becomes unusually secretive. But we can help prevent this from happening. We need to get educated. Protect our passwords. Only share pictures your parents would be proud of. Ignore emails and messages if you don't know where they're coming from. 
remember to log out of your accounts and think before you post something. But most importantly, we need to raise awareness. Spread the word and tell people if you're being bullied online. If you are being bullied, don't retaliate or respond. Keep all the evidence. Reach out for help and go to a trusted adult. Remember to protect your accounts and know that it's not your fault. You did nothing wrong. You're perfect the way you are. Don't let anyone's hate bring you down. If you don't think you have anyone you can go to, here are some sources that might help. What will you learn?